My name is April Mortimer. I monitored a communication earlier between you and someone with the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those Brotherhood people. Bring your robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good. Stay where you are. I'm sending someone up to meet you. Listen very closely. You do as I say. Your life depends on it. Hand over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down to your underwear.
I've told you what to do. Strip off your clothes and equipment or face summary execution. Will you comply? Take it all off and hand it to me. And come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you. Where did you learn that password? And tell the truth, because I'll know if you're lying. An interesting story. It may even be true. Under normal circumstances, your story wouldn't make any difference. You'd be dead already. Lucky for you. Probably. Elder McNamara wants to meet you. So follow me, closely, or you'll be killed. I've been informed that you bring us ill tidings, stranger. Care to elaborate? That is sad news indeed, and I thank you for making your way here to convey it to us. But now the issue remains that an outsider knows our location. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern, and I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks, some basic, some a bit more involved. An NCR Ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood? Yes, we could kill him easily enough. But sometimes you can learn a great deal by observing people, both enemies and friends. Which is why it will be very interesting to observe how you choose to deal with the situation and decide which you are enemy or friend do we understand one another very well i'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission paladin ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose notice that i said loose not free you are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond hidden valley until i'm convinced that you're capable and dependable to underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. You'll find your equipment in the chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the Ranger.
Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger? Huh. <laughs> Got some stones on you, son. I like that. What can I do for you? Dobson's my name. I'm an NCR ranger operating out of Camp McCarran, north of here. Redding man by birth, though. Well, I thought I might set up a safe house in one of the bunkers here. Between the remote location and the dust storms, I figured it was ideal. Of course, seems a lot less remote since you showed up. Plus, I haven't been able to get my radio working, and a safe house is no good without one. I reckon I'll stick around a while, patrol for troublemakers, see if I can get that radio working. Oh, and in your expert opinion, why would that be? You've seen that with your own two eyes? God damn. I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently, but I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroll. Yep, I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Thanks for the information. You may have saved my life. What are you doing to my radio? Okay, but if I find you messing with it again, there'll be hell to pay. You hear me? Sit tight. Stand back from the door. The elder's eager to hear your report. How did you resolve the situation with the ranger? Gone. Why did he leave? And what makes you think he won't be back? Yes, you exploited his fear of powder gangers very effectively. The collar includes a microphone, you see. Part of the test. He'll keep his distance, setting ambushes, never suspecting that these bunkers house something far more dangerous to him than criminals. Well played. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it, and there will be no mercy. Hello, Outsider. Your presence here... Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. That's right. Nothing gets in or out of here without me knowing it. Normally, that would have fallen under my jurisdiction, 
but the elder thought it provided good test for you, so I backed off. Under the lockdown, only essential personnel are permitted to enter or leave. That includes supply runners and high security patrols. All other personnel are forbidden to leave, and any personnel that were out there when the lockdown was enacted are forbidden from returning. Fine by me. Bye. Hard knows his life to McNamara. That's why he won't challenge him outright. Doc Schuler is a lifesaver. I was hurt in training the other day, and she fixed me right up. Does Ramos know you're walking around without a guard? I have important work to do, so no time to... Hello, you must be the outsider everyone's talking about. I'm Linda Schuller. If you ever need medical attention, this is the place to come. Yes, I handle all medical needs in the bunker. If you're ever wounded, I can treat you. For a fee. Normally I'd just be the base's medical officer. But my other duties say otherwise. We have equipment here to treat most physical injuries. Lacerations, broken bones, that sort of thing. We also carry a full supply of antitoxins. You may have noticed the bark scorpions up above. Though tiny, their venom packs quite a punch. Treating scorpion stings is my most common procedure. I can also treat any form of radiation sickness you pick up out in the waste. No matter what stage. Save the last. I'm this bunker's head scribe in everything but name. I supervise the research teams. I collate the reports. I attend the meetings. But for reasons beyond me, that buffoon Taggart still gets the title. And don't get me started on that little pet of his. Everyone around here knows what's going on there but her. I don't appreciate how much harder I have to work to cover for his tendency to focus on his personal projects. I try not to think too much about his personal proclivities. Yet, yeah. nor we have a. I if I suppose I have. A Give me a shout if you need anything else. Bye. Sorry, but I'm a little busy here, if you'll ex Yeah? It's our virtual reality training hall. We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that. Especially with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? Head scribe Taggart quickly realized my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Soon after that, he requested that I get transferred to VR specialist training, serving as his assistant. I miss hanging out with the other students all the time, but at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. Well, like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe, and my mother a paladin. They both died at Helios I. The others were always like a family to me before that, but afterward they became my family in truth. Later. I have important work to do, so no time. Then you bring your second unit up to provide covering fire, like so. I don't think these repairs will ever end.
When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. While that is disheartening news, there remains hope that the other two patrols may still be found alive. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, Please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. Of course I have, many times in fact. The Elder has an open door policy and will listen to advice on any subject save this one. He refuses to see that our isolation is slowly weakening us. Aside from being our duty, going out on missions is what kept us strong. And because he fails to see that, he must be replaced. I would. I'm the senior most paladin in the chapter, and have more combat experience than any two others here put together. I'd gladly support another candidate, but no one has the courage to step forward and make the attempt, so it falls to me. I would put this chapter back on the right path if I could just assume leadership. I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters, so they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? If I become Elder, the lockdown will be lifted, and we'll once again be able to send patrols out into the wastes. We'll become powerful again. And when that happens, it will be good to have the Brotherhood as an ally. Good enough? That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered... 
Yes. I know the loss of the patrols has weighed heavily on his mind for some time. He took it very personally when they first went missing. That was when I first began to seriously question his ability to lead us. A commander has to be able to deal with the potential loss of his men. It's strange that he would ask you to find mission disks on them, however. The missing paladins were all on standard patrols, which don't need them. Only brothers sent on special assignments are given mission disks. If you should find any on the lost patrols, let me know. It's a travesty is what it is. Every second we sit on our hands down here is another second that we're not fulfilling our sworn duty. It's not that I dislike the Elder, but I strongly disapprove of his current style of leadership. We're safe, yes, but at what cost? After lifting the lockdown, the first thing I do is send scouts out to recon the area. We need to know what's going on out there. Next, I'd resume patrols in the near vicinity and begin sending search teams out to the spots the scouts reported were relatively safe. It's standard procedure when a chapter relocates to an area. But standard procedure wasn't our last Elder's style, either. Elijah was a strange one. His even becoming Elder was highly questionable, seeing as how he was a scribe. Typically, only paladins are eligible. But an exception was made in his case on account of him being a genius. Unfortunately, whatever scientific acumen he had didn't extend to tactics. Trying to defend Helios was a blunder of the worst kind, and many brothers lost their lives because of it. Many of the senior paladins, myself included, advised him to fight a retreating action, but he refused to budge. Said he almost had it working. We never did find out exactly what he was talking about. When the perimeter was finally overrun, the Elder had simply vanished. Helios was the worst goddamn action I've seen in a long, long career of fighting. Later. Everyone says I'm... Look, this isn't a great time... Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch-and-go at the moment. One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. What? No, that... that's brilliant! It would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular terminal, even when the other parts move. You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible. But the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish. But we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. Crazy, but I still say it'd be a great advancement if doors open once you got close to them. Hey. The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. Hello.
seconds. Did you want to try isolating the virus? All right, I'll monitor when it jumps. When I give the signal, start checking terminals. Jumped. Find which terminals it went to. jumped. I thought we might have had it that time. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Just jump. Find which terminals it went to. time did you want to try isolating the virus the virus just jumped find which terminals it went to
jumped. I thought we might have had it that time. Did you want to try isolating the... just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. Ten seconds! has been purged. You actually did it? If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? I can understand how the man might be frustrated by the current situation. He's a take-charge sort of fellow. Standing around's not his strong suit. I myself often wish we could end this interminable stasis and begin moving forward again. Oh, all kinds of things. There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker, but we've since added our own data as well. Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's aegis, since they'd constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. Bye. Only a few people get to venture outside, usually to trade for food. After this, I have some weapons to repair. outside. 
usually to trade for food. Oh, hey there. So, so you've been talking to Harden, eh? He's been looking for a way to usurp McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Don't get me wrong, he's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, none of us would have survived at Helios. I'll tell you what I told Harden. There have been only a few cases of elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See Senior Scribe Ibsen about accessing it. I'm sure someone's told you all this before. Several years back, we were running our chapter out the Helios One solar power station. Our elder at the time, Elijah, had some kind of obsession with the place, which is the only reason we stayed as long as we did. That place was hardly defensible, and we knew the NCR was moving in on us, but the elder refused to budge, insisting that he just needed more time. We never found out what he needed time for. Wave upon wave of NCR troopers hit us from all directions. We held out for a time, but we were grossly outnumbered, and they had more men than we had ammo. Eventually, our positions collapsed. Elder Elijah was nowhere to be found, so McNamara took charge and led what remained of us on a counteroffensive west. We lost a lot of men and women, but we broke through and made it here. Make no mistake, McNamara saved this chapter that day. Who was Elijah more like? He was our elder before McNamara. Bright guy, but just between you and me, he was a little off. Our mission is to recover and preserve the technology of the past, but Elijah wanted more. He sought ways to improve upon technology, make it better. When we found Helios One, he was like a kid in a candy store, he kept talking about the potential and a grand design never realized. He even insisted we set up our base there, against the objection of nearly every paladin. What followed is a whole other story. Bye. getting used to, doesn't it? Hello, can I have... Later. Seems the destruction of the monorail didn't slow the NCR down much. How many troops do they have? Seems the destruction of the monorail didn't slow the NCR down much. Hello again, my friend. I hope you've been finding the information in the data store useful. Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the... Ch the majority... You might...
Hello again, my friend. Our early test results look promising. Found the missing patrols? Or... I can spare a little time. What did you want to talk about? That is this base's defensive system. It serves as camouflage and masks all entry and exit from the bunker. We use it to hide our patrols and supply runners, though we still send such out at night to be extra safe. It's a protective measure that was enacted after our defeat at Helios. The NCR was hot on our heels, and we wouldn't have survived another encounter. It was decided that we would stay quiet for a time, heal the wounded, and try to come up with a new strategy. However, after we had fully recuperated, our first scouting measures showed that the NCR's presence in this region had only increased in our absence. There are now more than five times the number of NCR troops in the area as when we fought them, and we have half the number we did at Helios. And so the lockdown has been extended. To go outside would be the death of us all. We have some personnel that are allowed to travel on the surface. They trade for what we need and occasionally drop off what they acquire. We make sure that they only enter or leave the bunker while the sandstorm is active, to avoid detection. Later. What is it, Outsider? I could hardly call myself Head Paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every Initiate learns when they start training. What about it? I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders, and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. What did you have in mind? Bye. Where did you get that eye box? I've never seen one modified quite like that. Seems the word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Have you found it? I need to... Then we have nothing further to talk about. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Bye. Important work to do, so no time to talk.
Arden is a tough man, but fair. I'd follow him into battle. Our former elder Elijah was obsessed with new technology. That's why we were at Helios in the first place. I don't think these repairs will ever end. Hello again, my friend. Night vision optics. What is it, outsider? If you being watched, so don't get any ideas. Yeah? Later. Our former elder, Elijah, was obsessed with new technology. That's why we were at Helios in the first place. Morning. Can you bring your second unit up to provide covering fire? Like so. Yes, can I help you? No, no idea. Later. I have important work to do, so no time to talk. Doc Schuler is a lifesaver. I was hurt in training the other day, and she fixed me right up. Our former elder, Elijah, was obsessed with new technology. That's why we were at Helios in the first place. Seems the destruction of the monorail didn't slow the NCR down much. Whispers that McNamara's lost his nerve. I can't believe that. Not after what he did at Helios 1. It pains me to think of the scientific wonders at Helios 1 now in NCR hands. long before we resume normal patrols.
We have a duty to preserve the past. McNamara's done a pretty good job, given the situation he was in. Hello. Can I help? Yes. We have a... You may have no... I... If you... Why is your friend there glaring at me like that? Did I bump into him or something? Hello, outsider. What is it, Outsider? If you must. Yes, what is it? Ah, the Outsider. I suppose it's too much to ask that Jarhead Ramos to keep Outsiders away from my research. I am Head Scribe Taggart, and I am much too busy to deal with the likes of you right now. Yeah? Bye. I was hoping you'd bring him my way. Pretty impressive piece of hardware. I can't say that I've seen anything quite like him before. Bye. It doesn't it? I'm really busy now. Sorry. I have important work to do, so no time to talk. If we could just combine Does the Ramos best know you're walking around without a guard? Our early test results look promising. Our former elder Elijah was obsessed with new technology. That's why we were at Helios in the first place. founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. 
That's right. Nothing gets in or out. Fine by me. Hello, outsider. Maintaining the machinery around here is important. We have to breathe after all. Hello again, my friend. McNamara has done a pretty good job, given the situation he was in. Have you found it? I then we have... Later. A former elder? I've never seen one modified quite like that. If I do a good job, I might be up for a promotion to Paladin soon. What is it, Outsider? I could hardly call myself Head Paladin if I... Second part, what are you talking about? That is the standard procedure, yes. For example, McNamara gives orders to Head Scribe Taggart, who then relays further orders to the scribes. I wasn't aware that failing to do so was punishable, however. Interesting. If we can just find an instance where McNamara went around someone and gave orders to their subordinates, we'll have him. Elijah was but an accept try it's a it's a later found the missing patrols or Remain diligent, outsider. If those patrols are in trouble, every second you delay lessens their chances of rescue. Yes, can I help you? No, no idea. Sorry. Bye. Doc Schuler's a lifesaver. I was hurt in training the other day and she fixed me right up.
Hello, can I help? Yes, normally I just... We have equip... You may have noticed the bark scorpions up above. Though t I can also treat any... If... This? We always... How may I assist you? Doc Schuler is a lifesaver. I was hurt in training the other day Hello, and she outsider. fixed me right up. Hello, outsider. Oh, hey there. Under the lockdown, all other normally fine. Bye. Got your back. This is a dangerous place, human, especially for your kind. I suggest you turn back. 
There's nothing good waiting for you further on. You must have heard a radio broadcast. Though why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless she didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. Help would improve the odds. Help might just make the difference. All right, if you're good enough at what you do to meet me in the village up near the peak, we can talk further. I'll have a plan by the time I see you, if I see you. Good luck. It's gonna be a lot harder for you to get up there than it will be for me.
Direct me to Mistress Tabitha. And I suppose you're taking credit for the deed, Fiend? I will avenge her! you long enough, so can I go now? Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. Probably because it used to be Miguel's. Whoever he was. How about if you let me go, huh, boss? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, can I go now? You forget about me already, boss? You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? My name is Raul Alfonso Tejada. Can I leave now? Or did you want to ask me again in five minutes? Sure, boss. I'd be happy to prolong my captivity and psychological abuse to tighten some lug nuts for you. I haven't heard a fresh batch of crazy coming out of the radio in a while. Does that mean I can leave? Alrighty then. I'll just head out. Alone. By myself. Into the dangerous waste.
Sorry, boss. But as much as I like to risk getting killed by your side, you seem to already have some help. Sorry, boss. Sure, boss. Name's Raul. Raul? I was born just outside Mexico City. My family had a little ranch there. All mine.
Hey there. Need any?